It's divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vinan Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Iskong Tondara Acharya, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Nitya Lila Pradesha Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnavindi Ki Jai, Namma Acharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Prem Shikor Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vata Di Gaur Bhakta Vinda Ki Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina Shyam Kun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Vrindav Maya Purdam Ki Jai Yamana Maya Ki Jai Kunti Maharani Bhakti Jai Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai All glories assembled Ki Jai All glories assembled Ki All glories assembled Ki all glory Shri Guru Shri Gauranga, all glory Shri Prabhupada. Without the speed of our spiritual master, the only way by which we can attain pure devotional service, I bow down to his lotus feet with great awe and reverence. By His grace, one can cross the ocean of material suffering and obtain the mercy of Krishna. My only wish is to have my consciousness purified by the words emanating from His lotus mouth. Attachment to the lotus feet is a perfection which fulfills all desires. He opens my darkened eyes and fills my heart with transcendental knowledge. He is my Lord, birth after birth. From Him in static frame emanates. By Him ignorance is destroyed. The Vedic scriptures sing of His character. Our spiritual master is an ocean of mercy. Friend of the poor, Lord and master of the devotees. O oh, Master, please be merciful unto us. Give us the shade of your lotus seat. Your fame is spread all over the three worlds. We seek shelter at your lotus feet. Srila Prabhupada. Jiva Jaya Jaya Tora Chande Aradita So Oh, 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 oh,
Ore 
नमस्ते नमस्ते Oh, my God. 
Hare Krishna. On behalf of the temple, Tamasri uh, Wang, Sonia Patani, uh, we welcome His Holiness uh, Bhakti Vikta Vinashana Narasimha Swami to this center, Maharaj. So, we all should be very grateful to have him here in this uh, center. Maharaj is actually a great disciple of Srila Prabhupada. 
uh, founder of Charia. Uh, just a little about uh, Maharaj and some devotees who are here. I just want to say, uh, please, with your permission, Maharaj, I just want to comment a few about the devotees and about you. Maharaj was actually an engineer. So he did engineering in Harriet Watt University. You know, so he had become actually materially qualified. But then during his time, he was actually uh, searching for spiritual uh, life. So he became, after hearing uh, in 1970, he heard about the Krishna consciousness. And imagine, Bharat just uh, uh, heard a record, you know, LP, a long play record of the Radha Krishna temple. Radha Krishna album, no? Record. What, what he became verse? inspired uh, by that uh, what, yeah, what verse? songs of uh, the uh, Hare Krishna. Uh, it was so six, nice. Chapter 6. So Maharaj became uh, actually chapter a Chapter 6, text 40. And he started over. Uh, 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 and he met uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada and became a, became a devotee. Imagine, he took shelter at the age of 22. So young. So wonderful. Shelter of the Holy Name and first initiation was in 1971. Such a young person who took up uh, Krishna consciousness at that uh, young age. Then of course, 1994, he took the Sanyas order and started preaching all over the all over the uh, Asian countries especially. <clears throat> of course he was from the US. So Maharaj actually was uh, in the India preaching, Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, Vietnam, Middle East and Philippines and Russia. Mm. He took up that. And uh, they, I think Maharaj went to the Vietnam, Maharaj. He went to Vietnam but in his, uh, uh, it was quite a difficult place to, to preach there, a few devotees. And Maharaj had a you know, big taxi uh, preaching there and came back. And uh, of course, Maharaj is an expert in this, uh, the Mandarin language also. He was teaching and he was able to speak so well. It's a great, physically, he's also he has done a lot of yoga exercises as a yogi himself, you know. And he has really taken care of his health and his physics. We can, we can learn from Maharaj about his own health, uh, uh, I mean, health aspirations. Okay. Then, I would first. Uh, uh, without much ado, we welcome all the devotees from uh, all over the all over the northern states. First of all, we start with our Kulin devotees. Kulin Gopunamaha, two devotees are here, if I remember, two devotees, right? Then uh, we have uh, Alostar devotees here. And uh, any others who can hear from the other Namahats? And uh, of course, we have uh, two, three Chinese devotees from KL. I, I remember this devotee, Yasoda. Yasoda Mai devotee. She's a wonderful devotee. I met her long ago. Very much acquaintance, you know. Uh, in those days, she is uh, actually the sister in law of a great philanthropist, Kevin Young. Am I right? And uh, she has to do a lot of wonderful service. So she has come here traveling with Maharaj, traveling with Maharaj. Wherever Maharaj goes, they are moving. So, so nice of them. And this Penang devotee also is here, who is uh, is also. Uh, Sudha Sindhu Devidasi, and the two children are here. And Yesuda Mahi. And of course, Singapore devotees, two Singapore devotees are here, husband and wife, Padma Lochan, so nice of them. And uh, Renika Devi Dasi, thank you very much, thank you very much for coming here all the way. And they are, they are, they are walking with Maharaj all the way. You know. So, further to that, of course, uh, Yadunandan Devi Dasi, uh, Nandan Prabhu is here also. Vita Wonderful. Vita and he's, and he's, Linda I pray at his wife, isn't he? No. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. And of course, we thank the driver, you know, the chopper who came. The chopper who came and uh, took uh, Maharaj all the way. Uh, Kamala Kantadas. 
को महाराज जी जैसे प्रभु जी जैसे प्रभु को भी नहीं महाराज जी जिस सेक्टर सो वी विश महाराज ऑल द बेस्ट सो आई डी इट महाराज नाउ थैंक यू महाराज फॉर कमिंग जय राजा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरिबर गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरिबर यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन मन तीर भन चाहिए राधा माधव कुंज बिहार वन फोर्टी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी गोपी जान बल्लभ गिरी बरधारी यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोद नंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर बन चाही यमुना तीर बन चाही हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 H
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare There's a lot of space in the front here. You can sit here in the front. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate so we're reading Bhagavad Gita chapter 6, text number 40. Yeah, chapter 6, Dhyana Yoga, text number 40. <coughs> Have we got another microphone? For, for? You take, take this one, take this one. Okay, so. <coughs> Read the verse. Oh, the verse I take. Yeah, take it. Take the mic. Aramati ayam tiyana yogam padam nārpade Sri Bhagavan Vacha Patanai Vehana Mutra Patanai Vehana Mutra Pinachastasya Vityade Pinachastasya Vityade Nahi Kalyana Krutkaket Nahi Kalyana Krutkaket Durga Shimta Dagachati Durga Shimta Dagachati Sri Bhagavan Vacha Patanai Vehana Mutra Vinashastasya Vityate Nahi Kalyana Krat Kachet Durga Timta Dachati Go ahead. Different translation. Moni Perp Purushatamarana Murumudar Kadavul Kurinar Purzavin Magane Narsayal Gali Yudupasha Anmiji Yuvulagilo Paravulagilo Aliway Adevedilai Yen Nambane Nanmay Sibavan Timay Adevade Ilai <clears throat> the Supreme Personality of Godhead said, O son of Prita, a transcendentalist is engaged in auspicious activities, does not meet with destruction. In, in, uh, in either this world or in the spiritual world. One who does good, my friend, is never overcome by evil. Huh? No, go ahead, you read. Ah. 
பக்தி வேதாந்த பொருளுரை ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதத்தில் ஒன்று புள்ளி ஐந்து பதினேழு ஸ்ரீ நாரத முனி வியாச தேவருக்கு பின்வருமாறு உபதேசிக்கின்றார் எல்லா பௌதீக முன்னேற்றத்தையும் துறந்து யாரேனும் பரம புருஷ பகவானை சரணடைந்தால் அதில் நஷ்டமோ இனிவோ சிறிதும் இல்லை அதே சமயம் பக்தியற்றவன் தனக்கு விதிக்கப்பட்ட கடமைகளில் முழுமையாக ஈடுபட்டாலும் அதில் எந்த லாபமும் இல்லை பௌதீக முன்னேற்றத்திற்கு சாஸ்திரங்களின் அடிப்படையிலும் வழக்கத்தின் அடிப்படையிலும் பல்வேறு செயல்கள் உள்ளன ஆன்மீகி தனது எல்லா பௌதீக செயல்களையும் வாழ்வின் ஆன்மீக முன்னேற்றத்திற்காக கிருஷ்ண உணர்விற்காக தியாகம் செய்ய வேண்டும் கிருஷ்ண உணர்வில் முழுமை அடைபவன் மிக உயர்ந்த பக்குவ நிலையை அடைகிறான் ஆனால் அத்தகு பக்குவ நிலையை அடைய தவறியவன் பௌதீகம் ஆன்மீகம் இரண்டையும் இழந்து விடுகிறான் என்று சிலர் விவாதிக்கலாம் மேலும் பிதிக்கப்பட்ட கடமைகளை செய்யாதவன் அதற்காக துன்பப்பட வேண்டும் என்று சாஸ்திரங்களில் கூறப்பட்டுள்ளது எனவே திவ்யமான செயல்கள் முறையாக நிறைவேற்ற தவறியவன் இவ்விளைவுகளுக்கு உட்பட்டவனாகிறான் என்றும் வாதிடலாம் ஆனால் வெற்றியடையாத ஆன்மீகி கவலைப்பட தேவையில்லை என்று பாகவதம் உறுதி கூறுகின்றது விதிக்கப்பட்ட கடமைகளை முறையாக நிறைவேற்றாதவன் ஒருவேளை அதன் விளைவுகளுக்கு உட்படுத்தப்பட்டாலும் அவன் இழந்தவன் அல்ல ஏனெனில் மங்களகரமான கிருஷ்ண உணர்வு என்றும் மறக்கப்படுவதில்லை எனவே கிருஷ்ண உணர்வில் ஈடுபட்டவன் கீழான பிறவியை எடுத்தாலும் தொடர்ந்து கிருஷ்ண உணர்வில் ஈடுபடுவான் அதே சமயம் விதிக்கப்பட்ட கடமைகளை திடமாக கடைபிடிப்பவன் கிருஷ்ண உணர்வில் இல்லை எனில் மங்களகரமான விளைவுகளை அடைவான் என்று உறுதியாக கூற முடியாது ஜைஷ்ரீகிருஷ்ணச்சைத்தன்யபுநித்தியநந்த ஸ்ரீஅத்வைத்தீவாசோர்பக்தவிந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே ஹரே So Arjuna had asked Lord Krishna a question because Arjuna was worried that if he took to this process of yoga but was not successful what would happen Arjuna kurappamada indru bhagavan idam oru kelvi kekkirar indai yoga vali muraiyai yetrukondu idil vetri adaiyavittal Naturally, when we come to Krishna consciousness, we would also sit, think the same kind of question. That I'm coming a devotee of Krishna I'm giving up material life and I'm trying taking up the spiritual path but the spiritual path is quite difficult and I may not be successful Yenade baudhiga aasaygala ellam thurande inda krishna unarvirkke naan varugindren inda krishna unarvu 
வழிமுறை அவ்வளவு எளிதானதல்ல இதில் நான் வெற்றி அடையாமல் கூட போகலாம் There are many challenges on the spiritual path, there are many temptations, things which can cause us to go away from the spiritual path. In the Krishna Unar Nusayal Muralil, Pala Sawaal Gal Ullana, Namathi Thirachi Uttum Pala Aasai Gal Uttak Kudiya, Thul Nalai Gal Ullana, Gita Naal, In the Vali Nirundu Pirala Kudiya Vaipu, Irkin Radhe. Sometimes it just becomes difficult to get along with the devotees and you think, I can't work with these people anymore, so I'm just going to go away and give it up. Sometimes we feel discouraged. Nobody is taking interest, nobody is taking part in the Krishna consciousness movement. We're not having many devotees. And sometimes just simply Material desires overwhelm us and take us away from the path. So coming to the spiritual path, trying to take up the, this transcendental process of Krishna consciousness, it requires we have to give up some of the material life. You become a devotee of Krishna, Prabhupada said, he, he said it, it's, it's just like when you get married. When you get married, you have new friends. You give up the old friends, you get new friends. So becoming a devotee of Krishna makes some changes in our life. Sometimes we even give up our job. And you give up your job and you become, take up full-time work on the transcendental path, but then after some time you may, you may think, oh, maybe I did the wrong thing. I should have kept on my material life and why, I, why I'm giving, I'm taking up the spiritual path and I'm giving up my material path, I should have put more effort into my material life and less into the spiritual path. But once you give up the material path, then it's very difficult to go back to it again, to take up the work again. So Arjuna was worried that, you know, what happens if I take to this path of yoga and I fail, you know, my material life will be ruined and if I fail in the spiritual path then I have nothing. Arjuna is an so this was Arjuna's question to Lord Krishna. 
And Lord Krishna was replying, we had the answer Lord Krishna gave. It says, the transcendentalist won't meet with destruction, either in this life or in the next life. Lord Krishna said, one who does good will never be overcome by evil. So Lord Krishna is encouraging Arjuna that you're not going to be the loser by trying to become a devotee. Hmm. That there's, there's no loss for someone who makes the effort to try to become Krishna conscious. He doesn't lose anything. He may not be successful in the spiritual path, but the fact that he made the attempt is very good. There is no failure in trying to serve Krishna. We cannot judge the success just by the results. We have to see that the person made the effort to serve Krishna. So making that effort, that is what Krishna appreciates. Krishna Bhagavan, Madhipadika Kudya, Kariya Mandavendral, Nam Sayindra, Vyachi. Somebody is trying to become a devotee. He may not succeed in becoming a great devotee, but he is making the effort. So in the next life, he can go on and continue. Lord Krishna is going to describe that there are two kinds of transcendentalists. One practice yoga for a short time, but not successful. And the other person practice for a long time, but still also not quite successful. So the person who practiced for a short time, he has still material desires. So when he dies, he will go up to the higher planet and he will enjoy life in the heavenly planets. And after he's enjoyed there in the heavenly planets, then he will come back to this planet. And when he comes back to this planet, he will take birth in an aristocratic family or a wealthy family. And in that family, he will have the opportunity to very quickly take up spiritual life. Our 
அவ்வாறு பக்தியை தொடர்ந்து செய்வதற்கு அவருக்கு அது சாதகமாக அமையும் But there are other people, they practice yoga for a long time, but still they were not able to be fully perfect to go back to Godhead. So those people, they will take birth in a family of devotees. And in the family of devotees, from their very birth, they have the opportunity to become Krishna conscious. So we understand that the children who are born in the family of devotees, that they are actually great souls from their previous life. In their previous life, they were already advanced in yoga. And that's why they take birth in the womb of devotees, so that from the beginning of their life, they can again continue their spiritual practice. And Srila Prabhupada tells us, he said, it was like that for him, that he was born in the family of a devotee. And as a little child, he was uh, seeing his father worship the deity every day. And of course he was brought up to be a strict vegetarian his whole life, he never even tasted tea. And as a child his father got arranged for him to do Rati Atra with all the other children. All the children in the neighborhood would come and they would have Rati Atra festival together and they would distribute prasadam to everyone. All the children enjoyed. One time even Prabhupada told us, he said, one time he was very sick and his parents brought the doctor and the doctor came and told the parents, you have to give your child chicken soup. If you don't give him chicken soup, he could die. So, you know, the, his mother and father, they were strict vegetarian and when the doctor said chicken soup, they were, what? Chicken soup? How is it? No, how is it possible? We cannot give our child chicken soup. Doctor said, no, you have to do it. Child will die if you don't give. So anyway, they arranged somehow, they got some chicken and 
they made some soup and they made the soup and they went, they put a little spoon in the mouth of the child, a child vomited. So then they said, okay, no more, that's it. We're not going to give our child any chicken soup. And the child didn't die. So sometimes when your doctor tells you to eat meat, the best thing to do is change your doctor. <laughs> And so Srila Prabhupada, as a little boy, his father also got a Madanga teacher and the boy learned to play Madanga. And at one point there was a plan, they were thinking, we want to send our son to England to be a lawyer. But Prabhupada's father said, no, I don't want my son to be that kind of boy. I want him to grow up to be a nice devotee. I don't want him to be, just be a materialist. So that's the, the kind of birth which Prabhupada had, you see. He was brought up as a devotee. And then later on he met his spiritual master and he went on to take up fully Krishna consciousness. Even his father arranged the marriage for him and Prabhupada said that when father arranged the marriage he told his father, he said, you know, I don't like that woman very much. I don't like that girl. So his father said, that's very good. <laughs> if you like the wife too much, it's not good. Hmm. It becomes very hard to detach, right? So, like this, this is a sign that how a, somebody takes a good birth that makes it very easy for them to become Krishna conscious. And Srila Prabhupada was always very concerned for the devotee couples when they had children that they should do everything to take care of their children and help them to become Krishna conscious. Mm, so understand the children of devotees, they are great souls from their previous life. And you should think, if you have such a child, you should think that this child, this will be their last birth in the material world. They won't have to take birth again. So that is very good like that. If your child is such a nice devotee that they can go back to Godhead, then that is, that is the greatest blessing to you. 
மீண்டும் புறப்படுத்தாத ஒரு பிறவியை உங்கள் குழந்தை பெற்றால் அதுதான் உங்களுக்கு அமைந்திருக்கின்ற மாபெரும் வரம் So Srila Prabhupada was born in a family of devotees and Prabhupada's guru, Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, he was also born in a devotee family. His Simano father was Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who was a great Acharya in the line of the Siplik succession. So his father trained him from a childhood. He trained him to recite all Bhagavad Gita, Bible. When he was only six, seven years old, he could already recite the whole Bhagavad Gita. And he could preach it also. He understood the philosophy. When he was a young child, when he was a young baby, they placed him on the Rathiyatra chariot at the feet of Lord Jagannath and the garland fell off the Jagannath deities onto the baby. So they saw, oh, this is very good sign. This child must be very powerful. Even at the birth of the child, when the child was born, the umbilical cord from the mother was round his neck like a Brahmin thread. And when he was a young boy, one day his father brought mangoes and the young boy took the mangoes before they were offered to the deities. So when his father found out, his father told the son, he said, Oh, you've taken the mangoes before they were offered to the deities. That is offense. You have committed an offense. You've eaten before the deities eat. So the young boy took the words of his father very seriously and he vowed that from this day on I will not eat mangoes again. And whenever people brought mangoes, he would say, oh, I cannot take, I am an offender. So this is the sign of the young, young boy, how from the previous life he has already got a lot of determination and a lot of uh, shakti, a lot of power to keep his vows. Srila Prabhupada used to say, he said, I'm giving you initiation, I'm just giving, I'm just doing the ritual. But the, the real advancement in spiritual life will depend on you and your determination. So Srila Prabhupada was pointing out that how much it's important for all of us 
to be determined in our spiritual practice. It's not just some ritual by which you make spiritual progress. Mm -hmm. One devotee was serving Srila Prabhupada. He was Prabhupada's servant and what happened was he lost his japa beats. So he got some new beats and he asked Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, could you chant on the, my new beats for me? But Srila Prabhupada said to him, he said, I have given you the holy name. You don't need me to chant on your beats. So Prabhupada was pointing out, it's not just some ritual. It's up to every individual to chant the holy name. And if we don't chant, then we're, it's our own fault. We cannot blame anybody else. And so, spiritual life is like the razor's edge. It's very easy to cut yourself on a razor. We have to move very carefully so that we don't get accident, we don't cut ourselves. If you cut yourself with the razor, then it's so much trouble to stop the bleeding. In the same way, if we go off the track in our spiritual practice, if we don't follow carefully, then it's difficult to get back on the track. So we have to always be very careful, follow very carefully. Srila Prabhupada used to say, just do as I am doing. And we see Srila Prabhupada chanting and preaching and worshipping Krishna, cooking for Krishna. Always engaged in Krishna's service. So, if we are careful in our spiritual life, we can be successful. We don't need to come back again. We want to see our children go back home to, to Godhead. We also want to go back to Godhead. So the parents have to be the example for the children. Just like Acharya, Prabhupada was Acharya, he taught by example. So parents, they have to teach their children by their example. Prabhupada 
But if the parents are chanting, if the parents are Krishna conscious, naturally the children will also follow. And if your child is a pure devotee like Prahlad Maharaj, then you can also be delivered. Okay, is there any questions? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, um, if we have children, and uh, uh, how long do we have to, as parents, uh, how long do we, are we in charge of their, are we susceptible to their karma? Mother, you tell me, Generally about up to about 15 years of age, chapter 15, then child is grown up. So child, when the children, the, the parents, they're Help, they're responsible to look after the children. Of course, we see sometimes children do very bad things and of course the parents are not responsible. The child themselves is punished. You get some children, they're very, they're murderers even. So they go to jail, you know, they're put in prisons and they're, they're put in some children's home. Parents are not held responsible. There's a story that Manduka Muni, when he was a young boy, he used to pierce insects with, with a blade of grass. He had this sharp, very sharp grass and he would stick it through the insects and collect insects on a blade of grass. So when he grew up, he became Manduka Muni and he was doing yoga, he was doing tapasya in a cave and it happened that some dacoits, robbers, they came and hid in the cave and the dacoits all got arrested and Manduka Muni also got arrested with them. They thought he was one of the dacoits. <laughs> So, they all got sentenced to death and in those days the way they killed them, they stuck them on spears. Their bodies, were, they had to walk on top of and fall on top of spears and the spears would go right through their bodies. So Manduka Muni, just before he was killed, the king came and they found out that Manduka Muni... Prabhu, come on, sit down now, turn the key. Manduka Muni was trying to... Manduka Muni got saved just at the last minute. The king understood it was a mistake and Manduka Muni is actually a great yogi. So the king came and apologized to him and set him free. 
இந்த மண்டுக்க மொழியின் கடமை வரும் பொழுது அரசருக்கு தெரிய வந்தது இவர் ஒரு மாபெரும் முனிவர் என்று அப்பொழுது அரசர் அவரிடம் சென்று மன்னிப்பெல்லாம் கேட்டு அவரை விடுவித்தார் And so Manduka Muni wondered why that happened to him and he went to see Yamaraj to find out what, why this happened to him. So Yamaraj told him, when you were a young boy, you were piercing all these insects, so this was a karma. So Manduka Muni was angry, he cursed Yamaraj. He said, this is not fair, I was only a young boy, he, he did like that to me. So he cursed Yamaraj to become a Sudra. So Yamaraj became Vidura. So Yamaraj was happy he got to give up his nasty job for some time. And he could go and preach, go and meet the holy people. And he got association with Maitreya and Uddhava. He was born by the Siman of Vyasadeva. In the womb of a Sudra woman. But it was a blessing for Yamaraj. So when devotee gets cursed, it's actually often a blessing. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. So, you got some nice prasadam for a woman? This prasadam is from Badrinath. Thank you so much, uh, Maharaj. Such a wonderful class. We accept our mom. I don't. One devotee just mom. came from. Ah, I don't. We accept our mom. Great class for Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Please keep the Tulasi Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaji. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Hare Krishna. You've been there, right, Badrinath? Yes. You went there? Two times. Twice. Twice. Oh. 
Younger time. Huh? Younger time. Younger But do not decide on which. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, she's the one. You went to Badrina. Very nice. Hare Krishna. Your son, your son, his son, and she's in Spain. She's asking me that I can take the child care from her. Oh, really? Why any mother? Why any mother? She said she wants to take the child care from her. Malini. Malini. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is she chanting? Yeah, yeah. See, see, no. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Here's our great soul. Who was she in her last life, huh? How are you? You got a job? Studying master. Huh? Master. Doing masters now. Where? Unimax. 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 Good. Krishna. Hare Krishna. My name is uh, Padmamukhi Devi Dasi. Padmamukhi. Uh, let's, let's meet to advance in spiritual life. Okay. May you be blessed to advance in spiritual life.
Commit to our program and police program, Maharashtra. Oh. Maharashtra Venugo Parpapus. Her daughter will be getting married. Oh, really? So next, next month. Your daughter is getting married next month. It's a wedding invitation. This is your daughter. It's your daughter. Yeah? She's the one getting married. Yes? I wish you good luck. Hope you'll always be in Krishna consciousness. You marrying a devotee? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah? So devotee? Very good. And think about that. Oh, very nice. Hare Krishna. Oh, you got that. So good luck in your married life. <laughs> mother's like a <laughs> young woman, eh? mother's like a young woman herself. <laughs> oh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. What? You want to know? Get me to You have checked to and Please.